When you purchase or rent a logging system from VistaClare, you will receive a license to use our fully featured software called Javelin Pro Plus for processing and analyzing your NMR logging data. This is the same software with the same capabilities that we use internally at VistaClare to analyze NMR logs. With VistaClare logging tools, you own the data you collect and you can process it how you choose. Let's quickly look at some of the features of Javelin Pro Plus. This data set was recorded by the US Geological Survey. When you first open Javelin Pro Plus, you're presented with a visualization of the time series records of the spin echo decays for the frequencies and TRs that are recorded. In this case, this was a two frequency tool with a long TR and a burst mode. Along the left side of the screen are some controls for applying linear operations to the data, uh, such as depth averaging, changing the depth units, stacking the different frequencies and how to stack those, applying phase rotations, etc. With those selections made, and here I'll just use default processing parameters, the figure on the right shows the stack of the different frequencies and different TRs. In the raw data, darker colors represent smaller recorded signals corresponding to smaller water contents, while brighter colors represent larger recorded signals corresponding to higher water contents. Additionally, signals that extend further to the right indicate longer T2 decay times corresponding to water in larger pore spaces, in other words, more mobile water. So right off the bat in this data set that we can see in the bottom part of the log, there's very little water, whereas at around 1,500 feet depth, not only is there more water, but this water is relatively mobile in large pores. Now let's view the T2 fitting. In the left panel, we have the stacked spin echo decays as on the previous screen. And in the next panel over, we have the T2 distribution through depth. Energy further to the right represents water in larger pore spaces, and energy more to the left indicates water in smaller pore spaces and the brighter the color, the more water there is at that depth. We can step through depths and view the spin echo decays and the T2 distribution as shown on the far right at each depth. We can also view the information from each frequency independently. Let's view the hydrogeology logs derived from this data. Here we have the water content, hydraulic conductivity, and transmissivity. On the left, we have controls for adjusting these results based on your specific lithology. For example, you can change the T2 cutoffs, or view the water content with a continuous color scale based on the T2 distribution. You can also change the hydraulic conductivity estimates using defaults for typical earth materials, such as semi-consolidated or sandstones. Javelin Pro Plus also includes a full suite of diagnostic quality control metrics, including vertical window, residual noise, quality factor, frequency variation, and phase variation. The Radial View tool allows users to take advantage of the unique multi-frequency logging capabilities of VistaClare logging tools. You can quickly compare the logs derived from the independently recorded shells at different diameters, allowing users to identify borehole disturbance. Finally, the Multi-View panel allows users to combine arbitrary combinations of plots to present their data as they prefer. In Javelin Pro Plus, it is possible to perform site-specific calibration of estimates of hydraulic conductivity. This can be done using results from pump testing or slug testing. Let's suppose that in the well shown, there is a screened interval from 57 to 62 feet, and that this has been pump tested to show a flow rate of 112 feet per day. We can import this file, which is now plotted uh, and indicated as imported data on our plot of hydraulic conductivity. Now we can click the Fit K Estimators button to determine optimal coefficients 
in our estimates of hydraulic conductivity that best match this observed data. So we've now determined optimal coefficients and have a better match between the NMR-derived hydraulic conductivity and ground truth observations. In Javelin Pro Plus, it is possible to import third-party data to view alongside NMR results. To see an example of this, let's look at a new data set. We'll go to the MultiView workspace and select Import External Data. Then we'll select our file, which must be a two-column CSV formatted file with one or two header rows and depth in the first column. So now we'll give this plot a title and give it some units. We'll specify the depth units, which are in meters. And over on the right, we have a preview of that data. We'll load the data, then add a plot, and select our new data set as that plot. Now we've imported some third-party data and we're able to view it alongside the NMR results. Saving and exporting your results is as simple as visiting the export workspace. By default, results are exported as ASCII text files and PNG image files of the logs as shown in the software. Optionally, you may also select to export LAS or log ASCII standard and WellCAD files, which can be imported into WellCAD or other log visualization software. Click Save Results and Figures and enter a folder name for this export and click Save. The results will be generated and saved in that folder. Importing into WellCAD is as simple as selecting to import a single file, selecting the LAS or WellCAD file you wish to import, and then we recommend that you apply a template, which can be provided by VistaClara or of your own design. Now the NMR results are in WellCAD, ready to be compared with other logs. You can also, if you wish, import the T2 distribution into ALT's NMR workspace. We hope you've enjoyed this look at Javelin's Pro Plus logging software.